Hello and welcome to the First of Marpadaki with a continuation of the Companion Guide series where we do extensive tests on several setups for each and every companion to find the best setups for each and every situation uh, and the use for each and every companion. So we will be taking a look here at this Hocules companion. By the way guys, you get this uh, just about at the end of Aquila. So it's really great for maybe questing um, the early part of Valencia Part 2. And that's pretty much it, guys. There are just so many companions that are better, like Ratbeard, Bonnie Ann, Old Scratch. Uh, I would even recommend using Gracie Conrad in most situations. Uh, so, that being said, this guy doesn't get much limelight, but I can tell you right now, he's really good in Companion Wars. Do check the link down below in the description if you want to see what Companion Wars are. And by the way, that's usually when all the really good companions have been banned about halfway in between. This guy is not usually banned, yet he's very powerful uh, in the mid-game. Uh, probably about four or five rounds in. Um, so, very effective for that. Once again, link down below in the description if you are wondering what companion wars are. Let's get right into this guy's features. So, he has an epic strike. Good solid hit. I uh, can't really complain about that. And he also has Turn the Tide. So when this guy is below half health, he gets a boost of 25% of weapon power. Now, because he doesn't have Turn the Tide 2, which is something that a lot of Buccaneers do have, this guy is not particularly good for uh, rushing Musketeers. So I have set his epics up with that in mind. He also has 4.5 movement with no gap closer. So he can't really uh, close the distance in one churn uh, of the range of a, a Musketeer Companion or, of course, the range of a charge from another melee companion. So he does have that weakness. That being said, I have set him with that in mind and I'm getting into the epics right now. What I recommend as far as epic abilities are concerned, Vengeance Strike 3 because of the stuns and because that gives, of course, three chances at a reactionary hit. And then for um, the second uh, set, I would go with Relentless uh, 2 for another three uh, three hits. So that is what I would recommend setting on your Hercules. Now, some people prefer the chaining uh, version, but the thing is, this guy, he's set with uh, Vengeance Strike to start out with. So if you go for... Uh, Blade Storm, you can only go Blade Storm 2, which isn't all that great if you have a Vengeance Strike, so I don't recommend that. Alright, well, now we will have a look at his talents, and his talents also tie into what epics he put on this guy, since he is a, a Vengeance Strike 3 companion. Alright, now for talents, what I would recommend is a Tough Rank 4, Rough Rank 4, Accurate Rank 4, Strength uh, rank 4, and the reason why I go with Strength is because um, you don't want this companion to dodge a lot because he does have Vengeance Strike, so I prefer to go into Strength for uh, more damage and criticals. And then, the last talent, I would go into Dodgy because there's not really anything else good you can put it into for this particular companion. That, my friends, is Hercules. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, once again, it's been your friend and pal, the Fierce of Marpadaki, with yet another Pirate 101 video, because goodness knows, I love this game. quack a little do and peace out for now. Like what you see and want to help support it? Well, do consider joining the Quack Club. In order to do that, you'd head over to the Fierce of Marpadaki on YouTube, hit that join button, there'll be a video explaining the perks, starting with Big Quack, um, so, not only will you have your name here on the side, but you will also have some of our badges and emotes. And then we move on, of course, to Epic Quack, which is the next tier. And that will also give you some extra voting privileges. So when I put a poll out on anything regarding a decision made by the viewers here on this YouTube channel, you will get an extra vote. And you will also get Priority Pet Morph in our pet morphing streams if you want to see some of the amazing pets we have a link down below in the description i promise you will not be disappointed and next we have our mega quack this will of course give you um, 
priority PvP teaming. Um, so when I do my 3v3 viewer streams, I like to team with as many people as I possibly can for from the PvP community. But I want to give priority to my biggest supporters, obviously. So um, that's uh, Mega Quack right here. There's only one more tier that's higher than that, and that is Super Quack. And if you guys want to pledge that much support, I will honestly just make you your own custom profile picture um, off of what uh, drawing skills I have on Microsoft Paint. They're getting better and better. But uh, this is what I have here uh, from some uh, of my past clients. So it's it's kind of a cartoonish style. Uh, if, if that if that suits you, if you just want to give me the support, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate any and all support, though. Your view, your like, your comments, uh, any sharing of this video is, of course, much appreciated. Thanks again, guys, so much. Uh, quack a doodle doo, and peace out for now. <laughs>